What's going on guys, Luke here again, welcome back to episode number 8 of the uh, Marvel Strike Force free to play series, starting off this episode with farming some Jessica Jones. So as you can see, I, I think I might actually refresh this node a couple of times just to try and, uh, just to get just to get her unlocked basically, and as you can see, the second time we get very very unluck unlucky and uh, I decide to uh, not carry on farming her because i just got so unlucky in the second batch of uh, farming but yeah obviously reach uh, a player level 30 there i think that well, actually no that can't have been i can't remember what that was but basically as you can see completing all of the uh the daily tasks as well obviously you guys should definitely do that especially early on and um, one thing that i can't recommend enough is just to try and unlock that wolverine because once you get him eventually get into a seven star He's uh, he's going to be pretty good, especially on the X Men team, especially even more so when uh, when Cyclops end up getting released. But obviously, as you can see, we are currently now farming, well, trying to farm gear for Punisher, as you can see there. But yeah, in terms of uh, the game so far, uh, I'm really enjoying this free to play account. I mean, I will try and get some get up some of the comments from yesterday's, uh, well, the last video, should I say? Um, I just need to uh, work that out. Obviously, we got as I'm recording this, we've got the yo-yo blitz going on. So if you guys have been um, taking part in the yo-yo blitz, be sure to let me know. Let me know what sort of score you're going for. Are you going for one to two percent? Are you going for uh, top 100? Are you going for number one? Uh, any of that, all that good stuff. So um, yeah, as you can see, let me just go on to the last video here. And I should be able to find some of the comments from episode 5 or 6. I know this is episode 8, but I record a couple at a time. So, here we go. Join the Awakened... Uh, Adam Bray says, join the Awakened 2.0. We are doing bigger raids, but you can just join and get the rewards. It will help your squad. It's relatively. It's a relatively fresh alliance. We, are, we have only just unlocked war, but you're welcome to join. I might actually take you up on that offer. I might end up joining um, because if I can get an, a bit of a head start on the rewards, then that would be absolutely uh, absolutely perfect. So, um, Mummy Troller again. Before I even started watching this episode, you already know I liked it. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Um he also said thank you for answering my question in the last one. So, yeah, that's the, that, that's basically one thing that I want to start doing. Obviously, get you guys to leave questions and stuff. Uh, RSG Vormax says keep doing the free-to-play videos. Yep, I'll definitely keep doing that. Ziggy also says love your videos. Keep them coming. That's uh, a big shout-out to you. I will definitely be doing more of these free-to-play stuff. Uh, and then and then Pierce Garbett says, back when the best raid team was Night Nurse, Captain America, Black Widow, Quake, and Yondu, all the glory days, yes. And and then underneath that, Ziggy also says, uh, when Yondu and Crossbones were the meta. Yeah, then when those guys were the metas, when you couldn't do a single raid without having Night Nurse, wow, what a time, what a time that was. I actually think I have some old... Uh, some old videos when I was, when that was the case. I mean, I have some screenshots on my iPad from when I first got the game. Like my first team, it was like Punisher, Spider-Man, Crossbones, and uh, someone else, I can't remember, maybe Luke Cage. Um, but yeah, the game has changed so much from when I first started. Because like I said, I've been playing since beta. So yeah, I've, on my main account, I've played around, I want to say around 750 days, which is a long, long time. A very very long time um i don't exactly have the stacked roster obviously i haven't spent as much as some people um I, I used to spend actually i used to buy all the packs like when when the um the new characters were coming out every month or like a couple of months or whatever i was always buying the packs and doing the videos on that but then it got to the point where those like it's kind of pointless in a way unless you're going to spend unless you're going to because you have to spend a load of resources to level them all up anyway so unless it's a uh, a meta changing character then i'm not going to be spending money but obviously i will be spending money on symbiote spider-man when he comes around because uh like if you haven't seen the videos i've been saving um saving resources for him so that i can eventually take him up to uh, gear tier 13 hopefully in the first couple of days i will be buying his pack twice as well and that'll be the first time of me spending money on this game since miles morales came out so that was a long time ago that was when the spider-verse movie came out 
Um, but yeah, what, let's just go back to uh, what we're doing. What we're we doing in this video here. I think would. I think we may be doing the villain campaign. No, we can't. Yeah, are we doing the villain campaign? No, we can't be. Maybe I don't know. No idea what we're doing. Uh, I'll be able to see in just a second. You guys will probably be able to keep up more than me anyway. Um, but like I said, I am quite far ahead in terms of. Oh no, we're blitzing. That's what we're doing, of course. Yeah, we're doing some blitzing because. The reason I'm blitzing so early on, I don't exactly have a stacked roster, but the way I'm doing it is I'm aiming to have at least two teams. And then with those two teams, what I will do is I will try to get a couple of milestones, maybe to like the 15,000 uh, point milestones. And then that way I can then get at least a couple of hundred blitz credits. And then I can pick up Mantas from the Blitz store. Um, who else is actually available in the Blitz store? I will be able to take a look here. Obviously, we've got the Thing, but I will not be focusing on the Thing just yet. Um, so the main ones I'm going to be focusing on are Mantis and Gamora. And then obviously after that, maybe Luke Cage if I want to carry on farming defenders. Because I'm not too sure whether I want to carry on doing that. I'm at, someone actually said I'm going to take them to 5 star. And I, I'm not sure. I, I'm completely undecided because I'm at the point where I'm going to have that many different things to farm with um, obviously defenders is defenders are good but it's so much more it's so much better to try and focus more on the shield team to unlock uh, obviously Iron Man the Kree team to unlock Nick Fury and then obviously with that shield minion teams uh, you can put Nick Fury um, also, Sinister Six, you get two legendaries for Sinister Six. Obviously, the Guardians, you get Star Lord. So, um, yeah, it's uh, I'm a bit, I'm kind of like trying to juggle everything. As you can see, we did finally unlock Jessica Jones, and uh, we took her straight to level 29 with all the gold that we have. We're also upgrading her gear a lot, and uh, she's going to be part of our main team with Punisher and Luke Cage. That's going to be the main three I focus on for now until I eventually unlock uh, Mantis. Um, so yeah, like I said in my uh, last video, one thing that I will not be doing is uh, focusing everything onto Spider-Man like I did on my main account, uh, which uh, obviously I enjoyed it. I enjoyed taking it to max level as soon as I could, but when it comes to uh, progressing in the game and trying to get uh, Fear the Darkness as quick as possible, um, that's not the way to go because Spider-Man was my first gear tier 13 character and I didn't even use him in fear the darkness so obviously you can see spend a million gold we're doing a few other achievements uh we've currently wasted all of our energy and uh, we're just complete completing some of the milestones as you can see uh open a premium orb here in the premium orb we get 15 spider-man it's kind of a sign but i'm gonna try and hold back and not do it uh, also the milestone orbs are very very good especially early on because you can get a couple of milestones you can get some abcs ready for when you get to that sort of gear tier level um, you also have uh, obviously you can get fragments for like gold orbs premium orbs in those milestones as well so uh, yeah the milestone orbs are very very good early on obviously when i started playing there was uh, there was no milestone orbs but yeah we're just taking a lot of characters up to level 29 as well just to try and keep we have a basically we have a ton of gold so i kind of wanted to not waste all my gold but use a lot of it and just try and round out the roster a little bit especially for when it comes to uh, playing blitz um, obviously you want to try and get the most points possible with the characters you have available obviously as you can see they're completing a few more milestones as well and uh, going and opening another milestone orb which we managed to get five captain america which isn't a bad pull to be fair and uh yeah, so as you can see, we're going to pick up some more Mantis there. And then we also pick up some uh, Gamora, obviously for the Guardians. And then we also have a Blitz Orb. We open the Blitz Orb, we get 5 Rescue, which was uh, kind of cool, I suppose. Um, so yeah, as you can see as well, we're just, we need to try and progress through the Villains Campaign. The Villains Campaign is going to be my next big task because we basically need that to be able to unlock a, uh, a ton more gear. But obviously, we're going to do this first node in uh, the Villains Campaign taking in electra bullseye and crossbones so chapter three one i'm thinking that we do we auto play or do we not i can't remember maybe we might i might manually play this one i'm not too sure but yeah as you can see uh, we take on that fairly easily so i could have really auto played it if i wanted to but yeah just to waste that bit of energy and uh, yeah so as you can see now we come back we log in on the next day claim a few items here the two base cores, we get a Falcon 
and a hand assassin. So that's going to come in for when we get uh, Phoenix. Uh, we get a few get a few rewards, nothing too good. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, logging for five consecutive days. So five days, level 29, it's not too bad. Got to do a few of the daily tasks. Buying a few of the, uh, the gear that's available as well because we do need as much as possible. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're going to open this orb here. Get 15 Black Widow, which was a good pull. But I could have done with something that I could use right now, ideally. But yeah, back to doing a little bit of farming. As you can see, you get some more uh, Luke Cage. And then we found the Punisher, of course. And then we go to uh, Jessica Jones. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I will see you in the next one for episode 9. Hit level 30 to end the video. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.